State takes on the number 13 seed, the Racers of Murray State, the champions of the Ohio Valley Conference. Later tonight, UCLA takes on Detroit. Earlier today here in Indianapolis, Auburn and Oklahoma State were the winners. Hi everyone, Sean McDonough along with Bill Raftery. It's great to have you with us. Murray State, no stranger to this NCAA tournament. They've won the Ohio Valley eight of the last 12 years, but a great story at Ohio State this year. They've won 15 games more than they did a year ago, led by Jim O'Brien and Scooney Penn. Two outstanding backcourts. The big concern, I think, for Murray State is containing Scooney Penn and also the pressure, which can be relentless by Ohio State. Let's take a look at tonight's starting lineups for the racers of Murray State. Isaac Spencer, Rod Murray, Dwayne Virgil, Marlon Towns, and Aubrey Reese. And for Ohio State, the great backcourt, Michael Red and Scooney Penn. Jason Singleton is a forward. Ken Johnson, the center, and a different starting lineup tonight with Brian Brown starting in place of John Sanderson who struggled lately. John Cal was the lead official with Jim Haney and Tom Harrington. Ohio State in white, Murray State in blue. First meeting ever between these two teams. And it's underway as Ken Johnson controlled the tip for Ohio State. And Sean McDonough, Murray State goes minimum. And you are grateful as always. <laughs> we certainly put a nice spin out. Michael Red. Their leading score at 19 and a half. A great spin move. Jim O'Brien said yesterday, Red is the hardest player to guard inside the three-point line that he has ever seen. He makes a lot of defenders see Red with embarrassment. That's just a gorgeous move. High praise, too, by Coach O'Brien. We've seen a lot of terrific players in his days in the Big East at Boston College. And now here in the Big Ten with Ohio State, Rod Murray. Ohio State fans wanted to travel. Instead, they have a... Violation on the end line. How about this little move early in the game, huh? Would that make you think twice now? Mm. They're defensively solid, and Towns, one of the premier defenders, they feel, in the country. That should be an interesting matchup. Lester Anderson, the Murray State coach, said the strength of our team defensively is our backcourt, and Ohio State's strength offensively is its backcourt. Scooney Penn threw up an air ball, caught by Towns. He gave it to Aubrey Reese. Entry pass deflected away and out of bounds into the Ohio State bench. Good defense by Jason Singleton. We'd like to remind those of you expecting to see the New Mexico-Missouri game. We'll be getting you out to the West Region in Denver shortly for the start of that game. Tip-off will be 7.50 Eastern time. One of those unforced, uh, not doing a good job faking and stepping and going. You've got to contain turnover and the nerves early, I think, particularly for Murray State, Sean. Right. Two quick turnovers committed by the Racers. Murray State in the tournament for the third straight year. And for the tenth time overall. Follow missed by Singleton. Here come the Racers. And they are appropriately named. They like to push it up and down. Much of their success based on speed, on hustle, on aggressiveness. But they keep turning it over three times now. And there's Scooty Penn missing a layup. And the tip wouldn't go for Michael Red. What a nice look by Brown to the middle. So it is still 2-0. Spencer, first team, all Ohio Valley conference player. And there's the first bucket for Dwayne Virgil. Impressive, and the one concern for Jim O'Brien, their center gets in trouble. Ken Johnson has to contain himself. That's why he wasn't as aggressive on the jump shot. Brown to Red right in front of the Murray State bench. Singleton, Penn, excellent passing. Brown called for an offensive foul. That's one where Scooney was a little unselfish. He could have done some damage, but not afraid to make the extra pass. So Vester Anderson in his first season as Murray State head coach and in his first season as a college head coach and he just turned 62. Mm. Good for him. Longtime assistant at the Division One level, longtime high school coach with great success in two states. And finally got the chance when Mark Gottfried left after last year to head to Alabama and become the head coach of the Crimson Tide. All those years as an assistant at Auburn in Georgia, so patient and now enjoying the heck out of this position. From the baseline, the shot from Spencer hit the side of the backboard. Still 2-2, nearly three minutes in. You can see 
Both teams look a little bit nervous. General Bryan's squad has reason to be. This is the first appearance in the tournament for Ohio State since 1992. Last year for O'Brien, eight wins. This season, 23. Biggest turnaround in Division I this year. Red, short with the pull-up. Everything but the shake and not the delivery. Murray pulls up for Murray State. Got a hand on the miss, tipped it to Virgil for the basket. Let me remind those of you heading for the New Mexico-Missouri game. We'll get you there in time for the tip in Denver at 7.50. A little less than five minutes for you. My watch, pen for three. And they use that flare screen frequently. They'll step in and hide behind the, uh, the picker. As compared to the picky. Yeah. <laughs> the picky's the guy who gets free. Rod Murray, he's a junior from Montgomery, Alabama. He gave it to Spencer. Jump stop, and the shot rattled out. Tight rims here today. We've noticed that watching three games now. Brown in transition. Block called this time. And the foul will be on Rod Murray. The ability to use these little screenshots is something that I think Scooty Penn learned back east. How about that? Uh, but uh, also did so well at Boston College. And talking about being relaxed, he's been in the tournament before. Mm -hmm. And Jim O'Brien uh, reading some comments regarding Scooney, saying that how fortunate the people of Columbus are that a guy who was rookie of the year in the Big East, MVP in the Big East tournament, sophomore, was willing to leave and come to Ohio State. And the way this year has turned out, they're all thankful for it. What an impact his departure from Boston College and arrival at Ohio State has had on two programs. The Boston College situation on Mass Al Skinner and his staff working to put it back together again. And really the only major difference in player personnel for Ohio State over a year ago is Scooty Penn. Well, great for one program and deleterious to another. Mm -hmm. Your SAT work for the night. Thank That's you very right. much. <laughs> I will not spell it. <laughs> Establishing inside, I think, is a major of major importance. And another Whoops. turnover here. here. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't get down that low. It beat Southeast Missouri State, better known as SEMO. 62-61. And what did he say to the coach? Let me have it, I'll win it. And he did. That's Dwayne Virgil. Just seconds before Southeast Missouri hit a long three to take a one-point lead. On the possession prior to that for Murray State, Reese had made another acrobatic shot. So he had two big shots in the last 30 seconds or so of that game. Here come the racers. Reese end to end again, but this time the shot wouldn't drop. Once again, here's Michelle Tafoya. Well, Sean and Billy, Isaac Spencer on the Murray State sideline has been pacing quite a bit behind the bench. He's suffering back spasms, which is a new injury for him. It seems to be bothering his low back and his hamstrings as well. It could be some dehydration. He's had the flu of late. They stretched him out, walked him out, and it looks like he's getting ready to come back in. Back to you. And that would be big if he can't play well because, as Tavester Anderson said to us yesterday, he... Spencer is our marquee player. And his speed and elevation, it's so important to have that back and the ability to get up and down the floor. I mean, he is their heart and soul, I think. And Scooty Penn, who spoke to both of us before the game, was commenting on how he runs the floor. It's extraordinary. He runs like the little guys. Free throws by Reese give Murray State an 8-5 to five lead. State, the number 13 seed, coming in with a record of 27 and 5. They've won three in a row in six of the last seven. Ohio State, the number 4 seed, 23 and 8. Eliminated by Illinois in the semifinals of the Big Ten tournament. Four points now for Michael Red. <laughs> the Drake, the magician, he's amazing in that lane. Foul, counted and a chance for a three-point play. No problems with the back there for Isaac Spencer. He's, he's wincing as he's walking, though, Sean. Not as loose and the paint expression. But how about this? I mean, the comment by Jim O'Brien, so well taken because of his ability to break the defense down and make shots, but they need some inside points to turn around Jay on the baseline. And the foul on Jason Singleton is first. The team is for it. The free throw missed. 
And rebounded by George Reese, a junior just off the bench, number 40. And he's from Columbus, playing for his hometown university. Super screen, screen down, and the ability to bounce. Red missed the baseline jumper. There's Reese. With the putback, they wouldn't go. Another tip missed. And now a foul and a reach in on Red. And that's two quick fouls. Or check that. That's the first foul of his own late night talk show. Catch the premiere of the Late Late Show with Craig Kilborn March 30th. Right after David Letterman. Right here on CBS. Nice pass out of the 1 4. Penn with a 5. And it's usually Red. The Ohio State people talk about how well. Red has dealt with the arrival of Scooney Penn because Scooney's got so much credit for their turnaround, so much attention. Whereas last year, Red was the leading scorer in the Big Ten as a freshman. And Red says, hey, Scooney's come in, he's been the man, and it's a great thing for all of us. And they're winning, and uh, there's a play, maybe should have kept it, and not a bad foul on the leak out. Virgil all the way down the other end. It tells you about an attitude of a player when Red feels that way. Let's win. I don't care who gets all the adulation, all the success. Here's the penetration and then the baseline cut. Scooty, so wise, so clever. Finding people. Great catch and one of the terrific finishers you'll see in college basketball. Either hand, he can play on the ball, off the ball. And when he's on the ball, it's usually delivered to Michael Red. Colin Reese was his first and the team sixth. And the next one puts Ohio State over the limit nearly midway through the first half. And Murray State is still hanging on to a one point lead. Ooh, got away with a walk. And had the bench and an uproar for Ohio State. The fadeaway was missed. And Murray State controls. Good hustle into the corner. Spencer's pass blocked by the long arms of Ken Johnson. Simultaneous held ball, so they go to the arrow on this, and it'll be Murray State's possession. Blowing out Winthrop, 80 to 41. 12 Auburn players scored. Everybody dressed, played for Cliff Ellis. Here comes Justin Burdine into the game to give Aubrey Reese a rest of his two fouls. Yeah, smart. They got a few minutes out of now. Rest him once again. This old look. And the runner rejected. Ray Cunningham had it returned to sender. By Ken Johnson, who got his hand on a pass before. That time blocked a shot. Johnson's number four in Ohio State history in block shots. Spencer's shot rattled out. Virgil tipped it up, but he was over the back and called for the foul. Only Herb Williams, Murray State, to come up with it. First foul on Virgil. Five team fouls on the Racers. More than midway through the first half. And a very low scoring game, surprisingly so. Red. <laughs> Some well designed plays to get him that basketball down screen, a little high pick, and then individual God given talent. Red's coming off a 32 point game against Illinois in their loss in the Big Ten semis on Saturday. Samovich the rebound, Ohio State with a one point lead in the ball. He's very clever with the pill. This is reminiscent of the first game of the day here when Peterson and Mason were doing all of the scoring for Oklahoma State. Nice dish, Tom. Oh, and a rejection. Looked like it was going to be an easy dunk for Reese, and I believe it was Virgil who swatted it, and then Reese intercepted a bad pass. And Red got his hands up to deflect it. A little bit sloppy here in the early going. Murray State has turned it over five times. Reese on the baseline. Nicely done by George Reese. And Scooty Penn getting the blow. He's not out for long. In fact, he's just getting up, Sean, coming into your screen. You've got to think the back problem is a concern. How is he going to react? Finally, somebody else has scored other than Penn or Red for Ohio State. It's Reese, who started his collegiate career at South Florida, then went to junior college in Illinois before coming to his hometown university in Columbus. Spencer missed a fadeaway and couldn't save it in the corner. Scooney Penn's going to come back in for Ohio State. And Red gets a breather. It's a standing ovation from the fans behind the Buckeye bench. 
play. Jimmy O'Brien's club has done a nice job manufacturing points from other guys. Everybody knows the solid performers are going to be the guards, but once in a while they slip Reese inside. Hopefully Johnson keeps improving, gets some points down low. So it's Penn, Osamovich, Reese, Johnson, and Brown for Ohio State. Johnson. Johnson again. Reese also worked in there for a tip that wouldn't go. Here's Aubrey Reese for Murray State. Tested all the way by Ryan Brown. Scooney Penn was telling us before the game that Brown in practice is an unbelievable defender and a real pest. He says, Brian just locks me up in practice all the time. Can't wait to play a game to get away from him. Aubrey Reese. Got tipped around and controlled by Aaron Page. And that shot swatted again by Johnson. Two blocks for Ken Johnson, 139 for his career. Penn short with the three. And a rebound run down by Michael Floyd, a senior forward wearing number three. And that little get back by Savovich tells you how this team plays together. Giving Penn a good open look, even though he didn't convert. Shooting has been dreadful here in the first half. Page in the lane. Really being harassed by Sabovich. Race the runner. Very confident guard. Good ability out. Sets up your dribbling ability. Right now, Ohio State taking it out of their flow. That's part of the problem for Murray State. The races were all for the last nine from the floor before that runner by Reese. And it's a one-point game. The Buckeyes lead. 642 remain in the first half. Reese between the legs dribble, trying to work on Virgil. Well done. And that's one of the isolations. They have a nuance where they'll slip guys at the position. Usually it's Red or Penn that can take their guy. Reese being badgered all the way by Brian Brown. Now it's Cunningham to Virgil. Page into Floyd and back to Page. Good ball movement. Resulted in an open three. Now nobody back for Murray State. Penn coast to coast. And Brown out there to compliment him. But all set up by superior defensive play. No rotation back to defense from Murray State. Jim O'Brien encouraging them to really D up on Reese. Virgil scores underneath. And the point guard once again distributing. Nice play as Audrey gets in the lane. Reese with the delivery. Wayne Virgil has eight of the 14 Murray State points. Virgil averages 11 and a half a game. But over the last three games, he's averaged 18 points per game. Ryan Brown out to Sabovich. Three. It always looks good when you drive, draw, kick, and somebody gets a little nylon. Timeout, Murray State. Largest lead of the game for the Buckeyes. Down to 5 10 remaining in the first half. Sean McDonough, Bill Raftery, Michelle Tafoya at the RCA Dome. Good defense. They deflected it out. Last touch by Marvin Gay. Six turnovers by Murray State. Now a full timeout. The Buckeyes still up by six. Oh, it's hard to get into the game. Meanwhile, we'll take you back to Indianapolis, Murray State, and Ohio State back in action. The Buckeyes lead it. Sean McDonough and Bill Rafter. Thank you, Greg and Clark. I'm sure that Clark is watching this game with added interest. He's one of the great Buckeyes in Ohio State basketball history. There's a steal by John Sanderson just off the bench. He goes in and has a chance for a three-point play. He took a hard shot, so maybe this is to shake him up a little bit. Didn't play as well at the end in the Big Ten tournament. Clark could do this game for the studio. He knows so much about Ohio State, and he's also big in Indiana here, being a great pacer. But the loose ball of that variety usually ends up your team not in good de defensive position to give away. And what a tough fall as John Sanderson hit it hard. And Spencer continues to maybe have some difficulty with that back. He's been writhing in pain while he's out there. Foul on Spencer is first. Free throw missed by Sanderson, the sophomore from Lexington, Ohio. Uh, Lexington High School. Murray State finds itself trailing by 11. 
Reese threw it away. He had a layup. Slide and he kept going take to the it, sure. I know you would have shot it. <laughs> no question about that. Back to Indianapolis in a moment. Remember that I think just needs everything functioning properly, and they do as well, Murray State. They're not as big inside or as talented, in a sense, as Ohio State under there. How would you know if you're that athletic, you have to feel perfect? I've read about it. I was, <laughs> look at this guy break defenses down, Red. I mean, that you've got to get a pinch and get support. Okay. Called for his second foul. And Michael Red's at the line. We mentioned our good friend and colleague, Clark Kellogg. Well, Michael Red has a chance to pass Clark tonight on the Ohio State career scoring list. Red needs 24 points tonight to pass Clark. Moving to 19th place on the Buckeye list. Red has 11 tonight, now 1,272. Make it 73 for his career. Did, did it in 300 less shots, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. One of the great ones, I'm only kidding, yes. Mark. Both college and professionally. Established with the dribble here, Sean, or get some inside baskets if possible. Marlon Towns dribbled into a double team. Now Dwayne Virgil. He's from Trinidad, as is Marvin Gay. Mr. Anderson has contacts in the Caribbean from his 14 years as the head coach of the U.S. Virgin Islands national team. And there's John Sanderson on the dunk and four points now off the bench for the usual starter, Sanderson. And Brian Brown did it all. You had just mentioned what Scooney Penn said about his defense. A little trap half court now. Well, Reese, he hoisted a three. They had a couple of men underneath and a three on one. But Reese said, hey, I'm open. I'm going to shoot the three. And he buried it. And Aubrey now has seven. Well, when you're that good on your team, you can do that. That was a major basket for the day. They were in deep trouble. Brown scintillating with the defensive stop on Reese. When you're not free that often, you take that. That's the first three-pointer made by Murray. Now a steal by Reese. Scooney Penn contested the Reese laid it in nice green on the defensive end to Brown soft pass nice play to the passing lane under two minutes left Murray State back within 10 Aubrey Reese was first team all Ohio Valley Conference this year and the MVP of the OVC tournament Sanderson who really been slumping lately has been instant offense off the bench a little Western Union to Jim O'Brien I'm ready coach play me Old pine time wakes people up. Good front of the box. Murray shut off by Red. Shot clock at 14. Reese travel. And that's the support. Brown got beat. They had to help. Murray State has to counter like that. At the half. One minute left in the first half here in Indianapolis. First round action of the South region. It's the four seed Ohio State against the number 13 seed Murray State. Penn thought about it, decided to pull the trigger and missed it. The rebound to Rod Murray. Now Ray Cunningham. Penn out there quickly. And a foul underneath on a hold in the paint called against. John Sanderson, his first. And Jimmy is intense as ever. And uh, a few years back, struggling at BC, got that program right. It. It's an amazing reaction of his team. We were lucky enough to have him in the Sweet 16 the one year. He is a very popular man in Columbus for what he has done with this program. Gay made the first. Because not only has he turned it around very quickly, but he has also kind of cleaned up the program. Mm -hmm. He had five players who he basically asked to leave. They had been involved in a number of problems on or off the court. And struggling on the floor at 17 games in a row at one point. But he stood up for what he believed in. Now everybody is bought in, and Scooney certainly stirs it up nicely. 11 point lead for the Buckeyes. And a 20 second timeout call by Coach O'Brien. Four seconds difference between the shot clock at 19 and the game clock at 23. Understand subs. Now, some games you won't agree with that, but the feeling of not being in when you felt you should play. And it does help coaches, and that's why a lot of guys who want great baseball players or whatever become terrific managers. Mm -hmm. Of course, I recall that from the history books or from people like you who are old enough to remember that. I was not alive then. Well, Jerry Lucas, one of the great rebounders I've seen in mean, yes. college basketball, 
presented himself to the ball. And Jimmy upset. You set up a in the 20 a play and you don't get the last shot. It's not good basketball. And they've left Murray State time for a shot here. Will this be reminiscent of Reese's tournament winning bucket in the OVC tournament? Not this time. Ohio State leads by 11. Here's Michelle. All right, with Jim O'Brien, coach, you said coming into this game that tempo was going to favor you in this matchup. Has that been the key? I think so. I think we're playing very well defensively. They only scored 21 points, and I do think that we're getting back. That's going to be a big factor, getting on the glass and not giving them easy baskets. Seems like a nice big lead. What do you have to be wary of in the second half? Well, a little bit of a letdown, but uh, they're a pretty good team. I don't know if we can hold them to 21 points and a half again. Coach, good luck. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Sean, back to you.